What's up, everybody? CCET3 Drums here. Tonight I've got a little Hot Wheel set to showcase. We've got the Hot Wheels 2024 uh, 56th anniversary slash uh, green and gold uh, six car set. Um, only have five here, obviously. I believe the sixth is kind of like a chase. It either is or it's just a hard to find one. But uh, couldn't find that Raging Express anywhere. But i uh, not really a huge fan anyway, so not a big deal. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this would be the seventh year in a row now where they've done these anniversary sets like this. Uh, they started in 2018 with the black and gold sets and that year, 2018, was the 50th anniversary celebration year and of Hot Wheels and there were all sorts of like special sets that year that came out and such and uh, they started this kind of like a uh, basic line and they've been doing it every year since I personally only see these usually in like Walgreens CVS type places and then uh, like Meyer will usually have them also so, um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at these, but first I will go through an example for you of all the, uh, past color schemes per se. So, we'll get these guys out of here. So... Starting off in 2018, the first year was the Black and Gold series. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head if it was uh, five cars or six cars in this release. Um, the example I have to show you here is the 64 Impala, which is a nice one. So this is the... Uh, this was the set that started it all for the Hot Wheels 50th, as you can see. And they've been doing it every year since. Um, I think I think a lot of these uh, sets are pretty cool and have some good cars in them, but I don't know if I would have chosen to do it every year. It just kind of gets... Um, a little too monotonous after a while, but that's okay. The more sets, the merrier. Unless you're a completionist, then you can't find stuff. <laughs> it drives you crazy. All right, 2019 here, we have the uh, Satin and Chrome series. So like this nice gray and gold with the 51. Obviously, this is the Datsun 510 wagon. I uh, actually found a decent amount of these in the wild, which were surprising. But yeah, that was 2019, the second year. That was satin and chrome. The third year... Good old 2020, haha. -ha. Pearl and Chrome. We got the uh, 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser here. Oh, almost wanted to come off there. Roll off the thing. But yeah, I, I liked these. These were cool looking. They looked pretty nice. 
Got the 52 on it. It's just a nice little color scheme. <clears throat> Pearl and Chrome. 2021, we had orange and blue. For the 53rd anniversary. And here we've got the custom 56 Ford. I'm a big fan of this casting. <laughs> Orange and blue. For 2022, the 54th anniversary, we had the blue and pink. Which, surprisingly, you wouldn't think that those are colors that would go very well together, but I think they look cool. Um, we've got the uh, Skyline, uh, Skyline 2000 GTR here. So this was the blue and pink for 2022. Last year, for 2023, we had the black and yellow. Which is not bad either. I don't know how many of these mixes, or years, how many of these years had like two batches or two mixes in them. Because I know last year... And this year, definitely, there are going to be two different mixes. So the one that I'm about to show you is only the first one for this year. But I can't remember um, <clears throat> if they all came out in two mixes or not. But anyway, let's look at the set. <laughs> that was the, uh, the black and yellow for the 55th anniversary last year in 2023. But anyway, with the green and gold here for 2024, which I'm a huge fan of this these colors, I think this is a winner. This is a good looking set color wise. But yeah, number one here in the set is not really something I'm a collector of, but got it anyway. It's the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. I think we all love the uh, the regular 83 Silverado casting, but these, uh, these tuned castings just aren't my thing. But I know there are a lot of people that do like them, and I'm sure kids like them, so they are toys after all. But yeah, this is number one in the set. I mean, as a piece of art, it's actually pretty cool. But it just, it's not a realis realistic looking car, so it doesn't really appeal that much to me. But it's not a bad casting by any means. I've seen a ton of these in Walgreens stores. Uh... Haven't seen them in very many CVSs, but there aren't very many CVSs around here anymore. And uh, these have not been in Meijer yet. But like I uh, mentioned earlier, I've seen all of these past sets in Meijer at some point or another each year. So if you have Meijers around... <clears throat> Number two, we've got the Toyota Land Cruiser. This is a pretty cool casting and 
There haven't been any premium releases of it, have there? That would be cool. That should have been in that off-road set or something, not that uh, Range Rover Classic or whatever. This would have been a cooler pick, but oh well. But yeah, I like this one. I like the bed. It's just cool. gotten a lot of Land Cruiser castings in the last few years, which I'm happy to see. They're broadener, broadening, I'm sorry, I can't talk, their uh, line of cars and just making more and more stuff, which I'm happy about. Toyota Land Cruiser. Number three is the 21 Ford, <clears throat> Ford Bronco, excuse me. I really like this casting. <laughs> there is one, uh, Ford Bronco casting that I'm really not a fan of. I think it was just called the custom Ford Bronco. It's like the, uh, like the, it doesn't have a top on it and it's just really goofy looking. But other than that, all the old Ford Bronco castings in this one, I think are really good. And this is a, a more modern one, obviously the 21 and, uh, yeah, I'm a fan of this casting in general, and like I mentioned earlier, I think this green and gold um, paint scheme on these is really nice. And these were, I don't know how much were these. I can't, I can't even remember. I don't even think these were two dollars. I think they were less. I can't, that's terrible, that was only a few days ago. But uh, yeah, these are not silver series. These are just considered basics, I guess. But pricier basics? I don't know, who knows anymore. Number four is probably my favorite. <clears throat> Probably most people's favorite. It's the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone Gasser. This I did not find this whole set at all at the same time. Um, this was the last one that I found. And still never uh, saw this Raging Express, but which I think is a chase, but I, I just don't care about that casting, so. If I see it, I'll definitely get it, but, eh. Nice gasser casting. This was a uh, super treasure hunt last year in black. Very nice casting. I think that, uh, I think last year, I think that might have been the first basic release of this casting. Let me see. Yep. Copyright 2022, so yeah, last year, I guess, was the first year that this casting came with a plastic base, because it's been in premium many times. It's an older casting, so. Oh, darn. Wanted to roll off tonight, all of them. But yeah, I, 
I really like this uh, this tooling and I like gassers. I wish they weren't so hoarded like that 55 Bel Air gasser. But yeah, this is a uh, this is probably my favorite one in the set. And number five out of six, but the final one I have. Custom 70 Honda, Honda N600. Reminds you of a, of a Mini Cooper, huh? Nice little casting. I like my Hondas. But yeah, I would say this was a pretty good little mix of cars. Um, I will probably see a lot more of these as time goes on and maybe eventually see, an Ra see a Ragin' Express, but who knows. But they usually have at least half the cars in these mixes usually have or are usually pretty good castings, but they have a lot of fantasy ones at the same time. And a lot of meh casting, so these aren't always the greatest sets, but I really like this this one. It's awesome, and this the paint looks good, good colors. I really like this. And then, uh, like I mentioned earlier, this will also have a second batch coming later on. The uh, 56th anniversary. Uh, let's see what castings were in that one. I know there's a S14 Sylvia Drift that's in it. And then I believe a 20... Is it the 20 or 21 GR Supra? The one with the big wing that's going to be in it and then maybe a uh, I think it was the Ford Sierra Cosworth and then some other like fantasy castings or something but anyway yeah this is just mi this is just mix one and eventually we'll get mix two but here we are <clears throat> that is our five cars in the green and gold set. Nice little mix of cars. But yeah. Um, tell me what you guys think. Like and subscribe if you wish. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. And uh, stay f safe out there. Catch you next time.